bubble martini. Oh, these are so pretty. Look how cute they are. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Good morning and a welcome to Bratislava, Slovakia. We made it to another country on our European summer tour. We're staying in the heart of Bratislava at Hotel Devon. So we'll give you guys a full hotel and room tour later. We actually arrived here yesterday from Budapest. We took the three hour train and I believe it was like around 23 euros. Today we're going to be exploring the capital city, getting our first impressions and seeing everything the city has to offer. Sammy has all her maps and everything with her. I don't know what I'm doing walking around with this stuff. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go walk Old Town and then maybe go to the Devon Castle. But I'm gonna put this stuff away because I'm like such a tourist. Like The receptionists were so helpful. Showed us all the main sites. We have a lot to see today. Let's go do it. What a beautiful town this is, right? Who wore it better? <laughs> oh, look at that. Same the dress. The black dress? The black dress. <laughs> you win. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, we made it to Kumel. It's the most photographed spot here in Bratislava, which is very interesting because it's just this little guy hanging out of a sewer. It actually translates to man at work. A couple of funny things about it, if you touch his head, it's for good luck. And if you're a woman, if you touch his nose, you might have a surprise in about nine months. Okay. Gotta make sure she does not touch the nose. <laughs> Stay back. Don't worry, you don't have to worry about me. <laughs> Am I under the hat? We're here in the main square. So throughout Bratislava's history, this was the main marketplace and is also a place for public gatherings. It is super beautiful, you guys. Okay, so I saw that people were climbing up the clock tower in like the main square. So I think we're gonna go up because I found the tickets and they're only like three euros a piece. Three euros to you? I don't know, I'm kind of cheap. <laughs> It'll be six if it's me and you. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know, it just sounds like a nice, it looked like a nice view. Nobody's up there. <laughs> you can already hit the bell. No way, I'm not gonna get to it. You can pull that bell. No, do not touch me. Look at it. Wow. I do think three euros is worth it for this view. There's nobody else up here. You get the beautiful views overlooking the main square. You can see the Bratislava castle. You can see, I think that's Michael's gate. We haven't been there yet. We're heading over there right now. You can see the UFO tower. It's just a beautiful view for three euros. Like might as well come up here, right? It was worth it. It was sure. worth it for sure. warm today, isn't it? But they had the perfect solution. How's that feel? So good. When I walked by earlier, I was like, why are people just standing in it? I know why now. So we're walking to the cathedral now, and as we're walking on this street, we're passing the restaurant we ate at last night. It's called Stedna. Don't miss it if you want something not so traditional. First IPA. It's amazing, too. It's a chicken sandwich fried with cornflake breading. Yum. Good. Okay, we just made it to St. Martin's Cathedral. It is built in the 14th century, the largest and oldest cathedral here in Bratislava. Let's go check it out. There's actually a mass going on right now, so we're just gonna walk around the perimeter and check out the outside. made our way to Michael's Gate. It is the iconic symbol of Bratislava. It is the only tower out of the original fort that was preserved and it was built in the 13th century and it is the gateway that leads into the old town. Oh, well done. 
So we've done quite a bit of sightseeing and it's time for a little pick me up. Sammy desperately needs some water. I'm so dehydrated. I can't see another sight until I get some water. <laughs> it's so hot here. I did pick out a pretty cool cafe though. I'm about to go check out. We chose this place called Urban House. The inside is so cool, you guys. Kind of has like a party vibe. It's super colorful and vibrant. Kind of a hipster as well. Cheers, a little pick me up before we explore a couple more sites and then we're gonna grab some traditional lunch here. Rating. It's a nice solid eight right now. This is perfect for me. Refreshing. Refreshing. Okay, we're gonna. Are you feeling refreshed? Yes, I'm alive again. I was almost. <laughs> okay, we made it to our next stop, which is St. Elizabeth Church, which is the blue church because it's totally blue. So that was a very short but sweet stop. Next spot we're heading to is the Presidential's Palace. I think it's like a 13 minute walk away. Tell me more. The Actually, Presidential Palace is known for housing the president. I actually don't know if that's true. <laughs> it looks pretty though. Anything you want to add, Sammy? Can't think of anything. <laughs> So I just stopped this really lovely couple for their picture and they told us they're biking from Belgium all the way to Budapest. Isn't that wild? Yes, they look so nice. So not only do they have like their athletic gear with them, but they also brought nice clothes with them. Yeah, true, that's very Isn't true. Isn't that impressive? Don't get any ideas. Sammy was like, Tommy can't even convince me to ride around a bike in the city and they're doing, I don't know. Three and a half weeks or three, four weeks on a bike. Whew. Very impressive. Good work yeah. you guys and good luck made it to the presidential palace, another beautiful building. So our next spot, it is time for lunch. Sammy picked out a traditional restaurant. Perfect, you guys, appreciate it. So we have come to the Slovak pub for our very first Slovakian meal. So I thought this was very interesting. We're trying Kofola, which is like a rival to Coke or Pepsi here. Let's try it out. First time, we've never had this before. Wow, it's very similar to Coca-Cola or Pepsi, but it actually has, I think, 30% less sugar and 60% more caffeine. Another pick me up. Thank you. The first dish that we ordered is a creamy garlic soup and it's served in a bread bowl. I haven't had a bread bowl with soup in such a long time. Wow, it's so creamy, cheesy, the garlic's amazing. You see how big this is? The best thing about the bread bowl is it's a garlic soup. So just like eating garlic bread afterwards. Delicious. The next dish that we're trying is a beetroot pierogi. So our very first pierogies. I don't know if it's super traditional, but I did want to get the beetroot ones because Tommy and I have a really special dinner planned in like in a couple days and we're gonna be trying a ton of local Slovakian food. So I didn't want us to be eating too much of the same thing. So we went with the beetroot. I'm excited. is so simple but so good. Beetroot and potato dumpling with like a salted sheep cheese in the middle. That is so tasty. These are so pretty. The pink, beautiful dish. I wish we kind of got the bigger order. She offered five or seven. I think seven? I think seven would have been better this year for us too. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it was painfully quiet in that restaurant. <laughs> We weren't sure if we were going to go to Devon Castle today because it is 45 minutes outside of the city, but public transportation is super convenient and super cheap and we have time, so we're gonna go ahead to Devon Castle. We took a tram, then a bus. I'm off the bus. And now we have like a 13 minute hike to go up to the castle. <laughs> we got off the bus and Tommy's like, oh look, it's up there on the hill. And I was like, wow, that looks still so far away, but that's okay. It looks awesome though. Yeah, it does, it's huge.
We are in the castle. We picked perfect timing. The hottest part of the day. You can't really. Woo. Come between two and four in the afternoon. <laughs> you'll have a grand time. So it was eight euros a person to get in. This looks awesome though. Close on Mondays, open the 10. What was that? <laughs> close on Mondays, opens at 10. I was just trying to give information. What time does it close at? 7. 7 p.m.? 7 p.m. There you go, people. Let's go explore the castle. Cue medieval music. What are you guys trying to get? The berries? Just helping your furry friends out. Free berries for all, or whatever these fruit are. Here, come here. Ew. <laughs> Look how cute they are. the castle the 360 views up here are amazing you can see why they built a castle here just to oversee everything in the area don't miss it while you're here in Bratislava Ooh, it's oh look at all the different types of rock mm, big rock small rock graphite stone <laughs> very knowledgeable Wow, this is awesome. Which artifact is your favorite? There's just too many good ones to choose from. This was really fun. I really enjoy exploring castles. What did you say? That was cheesy? I like turtles. I like turtles. And castles. <laughs> Okay, so the well is 55 meters deep. So the demonstration is to pour the water in there and then listen for how long it takes the water to hit the ground, the bottom of the well. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and so deep. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> So it's pretty cool as you're walking through the castle, there's a bunch of different demonstrations. Sammy just showed you the one with the water falling down the well, how deep it is. And wow. there was a guy down below showing all different types of medieval weapons, showing off a club and there's bow and arrows and all that stuff. So and lots the, to learn here. And there's the free, the free tour guides, the free audio guides with the tour. If you come at the right time. Oh, so, did I say that right? <laughs> you can wait for a tour guide to show you around and tell you more stuff. If you I, think, I think around. the audio guide costs extra though, so um, she doesn't know what she's talking about all the time. Alright, after a full day of sightseeing, we're going to head back into town and show you guys the hotel that we've been staying at. Tommy did a quick room tour right when we got in last night. We're so excited. We just made it to Slovakia. We're right here in the capital in Bratislava and we just arrived at our room. We're here in Hotel Devon. Look how massive and beautiful this room is. It's me! Check out this view. Nice king size bed. Look at how luxurious this is. It's gonna be so nice to relax. We haven't been in a hotel in a long time, especially when this fancy. Can't wait to enjoy it. So it's so cool as you're walking through the hotel. There's so much artwork. And whenever we were checking in, the hostess was telling us that it's all original from 1954. That's very cool. And there's also these really pretty chandeliers that I absolutely love. There's a really nice bar where you can enjoy a drink. Ching ching. There's also an upscale French restaurant in here that's been here since the 50s. It is absolutely stunning in here with the chandeliers, original artwork, and etched windows that depict Slovakian history. There's a fitness center, which we desperately need because we've been eating way too much delicious food lately. There's also a pool you can exercise in or just sit and relax. That was super refreshing. We're gonna have one last stop while we're here in Bratislava. We're gonna head up to the UFO lookout and have a drink.
So the UFO tower is like on top of the bridge. So I have no idea how we're supposed to get up there. I think the elevator is like in one of the cables that holds it up. Hello. Hi. I feel like we should have supervision. Wow. Now I wish we were doing that. No way. Uh uh. You wouldn't do that? Okay, not as small as I thought. Not, not as small. UFO? UFO. 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 I wish it was all glass like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh gosh. You could see all the views. Okay. Made it. Hey, going up top for the best view. Ooh, look at the colors in here. I know. Speaking of best views. <laughs> You're so clever. Appreciate it. Wow, this is incredible, huh? Yeah. I'm so glad we came here. I know. This is amazing. This Life is nice. Is perfect. Sunset and a cocktail? What a great way to end the day. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I don't want to spill it. It's going up. I'm really scared I'm going to pop it. A bubble martini. It's so cute. Okay, wait. It popped. But I picked it up and it popped. That's what's going to happen now. But it's really cute and pretty. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Ooh, I like it. She's so sweet. Okay, so I popped it. Oh. Okay. You got it that time though, right? really. <laughs> Okay, cheers. <laughs> I popped it. She came over here and gave me another bubble. It popped again. It's fine. We're fine here. We're going to end this day on a good note. Can we cheers? It was an amazing day in Bratislava. Cheers. Oh, we learned this morning. Our, not. Oh, we learned. A what? We learned how to say cheers. She said if it's too hard, you can say chin chin. Chin chin. <laughs> What an amazing day here in Bratislava. We were unsure if we were actually going to come, and I'm so glad we did. The city was so chill, so much. It's busy with tourists, but still so relaxed. The architecture here is amazing. Such a beautiful city. Thank you guys for watching. Don't miss our next video. We're heading up to do some hiking and to see some beautiful nature. We'll see you guys then. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. This might be the best urinal view I've ever seen. Thank uh you. -huh.